Hey guys, it's Tuesday here on Sharing All the World, and you might have noticed I'm not Kez. I'm filling in for her. My name's Caitlin. Um, a little bit about myself is I'm 20 years old. I'm going into my final year of college. I tend to watch Doctor Who a lot. I really, really like Doctor Who. Kez and Celia started talking about their experience when they would go to the movie theater, and I kind of thought back on like the first part of the seventh Harry Potter movie. I actually went when I was down on campus, and it was a little different because the crowd was more my age, about 18 to 22, and so they were a lot more enthusiastic. Now, uh, that might be because it was the midnight premiere, and the second time I went, I didn't go to the midnight premiere, but um, I found it a little bit more enjoyable to see it with people of my own age. For the second part, a lot of older people there, and it wasn't quite as upbeat as the first um, experience was. Um, people clapped, but it was a lot more um, somber. Um, I think a lot of that had to do with the age gap. Um, you know, as, as a younger crowd, we tend to be a little bit more enthusiastic about the things we love. The thing about Harry Potter um, at least with me, is I feel like I would have been more impacted by it if I had been younger. I feel that um, the books had a stronger emotional pull for me than the movies did. Uh, I cried a lot while reading those books. I cried when Dumbledore died. I cried when Snape died. Um, but in the movies, it was just less dramatic. When, when Dumbledore fell off the building, it just it wasn't, it didn't hit, it didn't hit. I, I don't know if it's uh, to do with the actual actor. I didn't really care for the actor. I definitely agree with um, uh, Michelle's sister Katie on this, that the first Dumbledore, even though the actor had passed away, he fit the role so much more than the second actor. But it was interesting seeing the reactions in the theater because you could definitely tell who had and had not read the book before seeing the movie because there were, you know, audible gasps when, you know, in the first part when Dobby died and um, people crying, you could hear that. And then in the second film, you know, um, when Fred dies and, you know, you see uh, Lupin. And so I definitely think it's a very individual experience. Harry Potter will never be the same for every person. Every person will walk out of the theater or, you know, walk away from reading the book with a different story. And I kind of want to interject on Kez and Simon's tea battle. Um, I do agree with Simon somewhat. Some teas are just gross. I absolutely hate Earl Grey. It's so disgusting. But there are some teas that are so good. Uh, like green tea and white tea and I have this particular favorite. Let me go get it. Um, this is called a red tea. I, I think it's pronounced uh, rooibos tea, but it is just naturally sweet and you don't really have to add any sweetener to it. It is by far my favorite tea. So Simon, if you're looking for tea to try that isn't <laughs> As disgusting as Earl Grey, I highly recommend trying the Roybus tea. So, Michelle's replacement, her sister Katie, last week rolled for Kez to draw a self-portrait while only looking in the mirror. And I would really like to try doing this. I think it's a lot of fun, so I'm going to set myself up for that. I'm going to pick um, green to draw my face with, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm really gonna have to show you guys. <laughs> I just can't get over what I just drew. This is my drawing of my face. <laughs> um, I actually, I don't know. It kind of looks like me. What do you think? Um, I think I captured my essence in, on paper. <laughs> um, okay. So, now I have to roll for a challenge, and before I roll, I want to state that I want 
whoever I roll for to sing at least six verses of the Pokemon theme song. You can pick anywhere in the song, although I think the first eight verses are the easiest, but you have to sing at least eight verses. I have my dice, and let's see. <laughs> I don't know if this counts because I'm on Kaz Day, so, but I rolled a two. So I guess that means you, Kaz. So I took your challenge this week, so you have to do mine. Um, I look forward to hearing you sing eight verses from the Pokemon theme song. Alright, you guys have a great day, and Vessel, I will see you tomorrow.